Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with our daily advice for February 27th, 2018. Um, so let's have a look at what the energies are for us during this time and what we need to know about these energies so that we can use them for our highest good. Um, so it looks like we have the opportunity today to change our perspective um, and go from a bit of, um, you know, feeling sad and sorry for ourselves to actually feeling empowered and confident and turning a situation around so that we are happy with it. Um, so the first card that we have representing our influence from the past on our current situation, we have the guardian of emotion. This situation requires emotional maturity and total trust. You're surrounded by those who have only the best of intentions so that you can rely on the advice you're given. Challenges will be resolved. This card also indicates a generous humanitarian and refined person whom you can completely depend on. This could be a reference to these characteristics within yourself. So on the one hand, this talks about a situation that happened that left us feeling vulnerable, that's left us feeling exposed, that left us feeling sad and disappointed. And for some, it could have to do with um, feeling taken advantage of, where we are the person who everyone comes to for help and we're expected to help. We can't say no. Um, we're expected to help. We're expected to just drop what we're doing and just be there for someone else. We're expected not to care about ourselves, but to care about everyone else around us. Um, and it's just depleted our emotional and spiritual batteries, okay? So it's left us feeling raw and vulnerable and exposed once again. Um, and so the more that happens, you know, the, the deeper and deeper we go. So once we start to feel sad, you know, it's followed by sorrow and then maybe followed by depression if we don't get ahead of it, if we don't uh, take charge of those emotions. Um, because once we start giving, when we give, first it starts on the surface where we give things that we can afford to give or we give things that we can spare, okay? Um, whether that's financial or time or energy or any other type of resources. And then the more we give, if we don't give to ourselves as well, if we just give outside of ourselves to other people uh, or to situations and anything like that there comes a point where we start to give from ourselves from within ourselves we give ourselves away bit by bit piece by piece and so when that happens we do start to feel depleted we get very sensitive very emotional very raw and if we're not careful to fix that imbalance and to stop giving to others and to start giving to ourselves, it can have serious consequences on our mental health, our emotional health, and our physical health. So that is what is influencing us today. In today's energy, we have the guardian of action. So we're going from emotion to action. It's time for you to step up and be the leader. Your natural leadership skills are being called into action. This is your moment in the sun, so move into the light and shine for all to see. This card is also about a person who has charisma, is inspiring, enjoys a challenge, and loves the spotlight. So for some, this is us coming out of depression. Um, for others, this is us accepting a situation, whether that it, you know it's something that's already happened and we have struggled to make our peace with it. Um, as a result, we've been an emotional wreck or it's a situation that we're dealing with currently that we can't change, but it's frustrating for us. Um, and so this is about, you know what, I am going to take charge of this. I will no longer feel like a victim. I will no longer feel like things are not within my control. Um, I will no longer allow myself to feel powerless and weak. I'm going to turn things around so that I'm happy with what is going on one way or another, whether that means, you know what, I accept this situation and I choose to focus on other endeavors. I accept that I can't change this situation. I accept that I can't change this person, but I can focus on other things that are more positive and constructive and creative. 
This is also where we try a different approach where maybe we've been trying to change a situation or a person, make them better or help them uh, or improve a situation by pushing it or, or trying to you know, do everything for this person to, uh, to help them in any way, but they never did anything for themselves. We were hoping that you know, by us starting the process, they would join in at some point, but they never did. And so we end up doing everything for them. Um, and the guardian of action says, okay, well, that's not been working. So instead of feeling sorry and disappointed about it, I'm gonna try a different approach. Maybe I will try inspiring this person by leading by example. Maybe them seeing me live my life and be happy and fulfilled will inspire them to do the same. Okay, whatever the case may be, we're going from being emotional about a situation because it's not been feeling great, okay, to taking action and doing what we can about it or changing what we can about it, even if it's just how we see that situation. If we can't actually change a situation or change the person or whatever the case may be, making our peace with that and looking at it from a different perspective so that it doesn't affect us that much, okay? And not in, a, in, in that negative way, all right? Um, And so we can break some patterns, truly, of you know bad habits, um, addictions of any kind, or situations where we feel like we're powerless, like we're a victim, like we're, we're, we can't do anything about it, okay? Um, dealing with people who make us feel this way, who make us feel like we're weak or we're just expected to give and we, we're just expected to be there and we're just expected to whatever, um, and they have no consideration for us and we can't have consideration for ourselves according to them and so on and so forth. And just c cutting ties with these people and ending that cycle, ending that bad cycle, okay? Um, and then the energy that we're moving into tomorrow with, we have the seven of thought. You've been confused about a situation in your life and now suddenly everything is completely clear to you. The confusion comes from the fact that we've been swimming in our emotions, okay? Whether the truth was revealed by your angels, disclosed, sorry, disclosed by a friend, or discovered on your own, it feels great to be awake and aware. Feel free to ask for time alone if that's what you need. So, so it's very, very, you know, speaking about uh, how we're, we're taking our energy back from people who are taking us for granted. This is saying, okay, I'm taking charge here. I'm saying no or I get to decide what I do or don't do. Okay, I'm taking my power back here. And feel free to ask for time alone. So feel free to put some space and distance and time between um, yourself and anyone that's negative, anyone that's toxic, anything that is depleting your energy and bringing negativity in your life, okay? So okay, separate from that. This is also about stopping self-sabotage, stopping um, ways of thinking or reacting to situations that make us feel like a victim, that make us feel like we're sorry for ourselves, that make us feel powerless. We get to stop that kind of thinking. We get to change our perspective. We get to change our mindset, okay, by breaking these ties, by taking charge of a situation and saying enough is enough. I decide how I react, I decide what I think, I decide what I give, okay? And we're really taking our power back, so this is awesome, this is really beautiful. And our guidance card, we have the manatee. Accept the situation as it is, rather than fighting to change it. So this is again where we've been swimming in deep waters, trying to figure out a way to change someone, or trying to figure out a way to change a situation. Uh, or trying to figure out a way to fix someone else's problems. And we've been going so deep and we've been struggling with this and, and giving this so much that it got overwhelming and confusing. And this is saying, you know what? If this isn't working, then it's not working. What else can I try? How else can I approach this situation? Or you know what, maybe this isn't supposed to work. Am I doing the right thing by pushing this? 
do, do I feel like I'm doing the right thing by pushing something that is just not working? Or maybe should I just try a different approach? Maybe I, I should just let it go for now and look at it from a different perspective, see if I get any new ideas. This is also saying if something is just not budging, in some cases it's telling us that, you know what, that's not meant for us. We're, we're wasting our resources on that because actually there's something better for us that we should be looking at. And so that's the universe's way of, of blocking that path for us. Um, and helping us see that something is bad, that something is toxic, okay? Because they keep putting obstacles on that path to, to help us rethink things, to snap us out of the confusion. And in other cases, this is about where we need to try a different approach, a different perspective. It's not necessarily that the objective is not right for us, but maybe the path or the way we're trying to go about it is more difficult than it needs to be or there's a better path or there's a shorter path uh, or there's a more rewarding path for us to reach that goal and so by putting obstacles in front of us they're basically just creating a road for us you know they're creating a bit of a map so you go forward oh I can't go forward anymore but I can go right and then you go right and then oh I can't go right anymore I have to go left and, then, and so on and so forth. You know what I mean? If we pay attention, when we get a blockage on our path, when a blockage happens, when an obstacle that we can't move through happens, comes up on our path, it's there to help us, you know, take a step back and reassess. Take a step back, reassess. Do I still want to go down this path? Can I go a different way? Why is there an, uh, an obstacle on, on, on my path? What does it mean for me? And so on and so forth, okay? But it definitely talks about taking our power back, ending some bad habits and cutting some toxic ties to people or situations that have left us feeling vulnerable and depleted, okay? Now we're coming back into our power. We're using our power to reshape our mindset, our environment, our social life, our careers, anything that we want, okay? So that is our reading for today. I hope that it makes sense. I hope the messages help if you're dealing with these energies. Let me know what the cards talk about for you. Okay, I'm looking uh, forward to your comments. Um, thank you so much for your patience and your continued support. And stay tuned, I'm working on the March monthlies. And since I'm not doing private readings, I'm going to try to give you a treat and do the March monthlies and do mid-monthlies as well, and we'll see how that goes, okay? Uh, so stay tuned for those. I'm looking forward to, to posting them. Um, but for now, let's have an absolutely beautiful day, and I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Take care.